So, carrying on with Last of Us 2, uh, we made it to Seattle Day 2, and we are trying to explore the hospital. And it looks like Ellie's not strong enough to lift herself up and over that small concrete block. So we're going to have to go this way instead. And I don't know why, but clearly Ellie's been getting a lot better at swimming as she's, you know, grown up and grown older. But still not quite good enough. We've got to do some crawling along the ceilings and whatnot. Sneak through there. Let's do a balancing act like Uncharted. There we go. Uh, and now... So, why can't I... Oh, uh, yeah. go Just go prone. I was expecting Ellie to do that automatically for some reason, and I don't know why. Because, you know... Ellie is not the, the most responsive video game character I've ever played, I'll be honest. Ooh, is that something? There's something shining over there. I've got to have to go and get it. You know what I'm like with shiny stuff, uh, especially in the Dark Souls 3 run. There's something shiny. I need to find it. And that was worth it because there's a me melee weapon here, which I did not have before. So I can now upgrade that as well. Ta-da! Sweet. Okay. That was worth doing, though. Cool. All right. Well, we'll go back again. So, yeah, as I mentioned before, I'm going to try and keep an eye on the OBS preview every now and then to see how the stream's handling stuff. Uh, I should say we're streaming at 1080p, 30fps, um, at 4,500 bitrate, which is kind of like medium quality settings for 1080p. Um, and if I still continue to get problems, I'll carry on and, you know, reduce the resolution down to 720 because I would rather the game be nice and stable and look slightly worse than have it be juttery and stuttering and whatnot, so. But yeah, hopefully that doesn't, uh, be a pro that's not a problem for today, so. Alright, so where are we going to come out of these sewers? Is this a dead end? That should, in theory, be a dead end. Anybody home? No. Okay. Where the hell did I end up? Well, we're hoping the hospital, but let's see. Is anybody around? That I can tell. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll do some more sneaky exploring. Do 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 do. Ooh, more canisters. Useful. Wait, do I have a silencer? I do have a silencer. It's more about uh, anything else. Cool. Alrighty then. Uh, I thought I saw like, a little icon there, but I don't think so. Am I full on health? No, I am not full on health. Grab these then. Okay. I do have three med kits as well. I could probably use one of those. But we'll, we'll save it for a little minute. Pioneer Square Station. Alright. Squeeze! Okay. You are here. And the hospital's there. Oh, not too far away then. Cool. Cut to the park. Mm hmm. So, since that's the way to go, is there. Something interesting to explore around the park. What does this actually say? A C W P S G M J W. Ooh, sneeze. <coughs> Ooh. Sorry about that. Sneeze on stream. Uh, yeah, I think I should probably make the the sneeze on stream the next emote we do because, well, funnily enough, me and Pimsy seem to sneeze a lot on stream. Um, more than I like think is usual for us like i don't remember us sneezing more often when we're not streaming but we seem to do it a lot while we are streaming which is a bit weird i guess it might be because this room's kind of dusty strange whistles what's going on something in the undergrowth Huh, okay. Are we gonna do a, a mocking J Ah Hello 
Uh, I see you. You're nice and hung up. Aren't you? Okay, well. Alrighty then. Something to keep in mind as we go further in. We're going to do some mocking jay whistling. Alright. Still nothing making any sounds. And considering how lush this undergrowth is, I would have expected to have something make sounds. Whoa! Damn. Where did that come from? Also, how did they spot her? Hold R1 to remove the arrow. Being impaled with an arrow will periodically damage you. Okay. Ah, you know, I'm surprised I haven't seen more enemies do uh, crouching and being prone as well. Hello. I do see you. Now, here's an interesting question. Does fire propagate through these uh, undergrowth? Because there's a new Twitter account called Can You Propagate Fire? Or Does Fire Propagate? Kind of in the same vein as Can You Pet the Dog on Twitter. And it just shows you all the examples of different games that can have fire travel when you splash it on the floor or in, you know, wilderness. Fuck me. Fuck me indeed. Okay, well that whistle sounded like it came over here, which is that dude. Now how close are you going to get? Pretty damn close, okay. What's with the whistling though? Like, I assume it's a form of communication that Ellie can't tell what they're doing, but what they're doing with it is not very useful. Like, that's just a guy wandering around and getting shot in the head for it. You know? Jesus. These must be the scars. Well, you'd hope. Doesn't matter. Hospital. Ooh. Yeah. Thank you. I suppose I could upgrade this as well, actually. And you know what? It's worth it to just get the, the durability back up. Uh, can't do that because I don't have any more rags. An explosive arrow would have been interesting, actually. See if that makes the, the, the leaves propagate fire. Uh, so if the guy was standing here, the fire did not propagate at all. That's disappointing. Although, I guess I am not... Uh, biologist? Would it be biology? Basically. I'm not the type of person that would know whether this grass is too thick or too moist to have fire travel in the same way that Breath of the Wild does. Or basically any game where fire can be propagated. Like wildfire as well. Okay. Just trying to keep it slow. Actually, before I forget... Uh, I think that's worth healing. Hey, Ollie! How come are you alive today? Uh, the reason why I'm alive today is because I skipped doing a stream yesterday uh, because my mum decided to give us a phone call and we tend to talk for a while uh, on the phone. And it was just like, well, we've already missed like the first hour of the stream. There's not really much point going live today. But I'm going live today because I wanted to make up for missing yesterday. And also, um, the road to the hospital. Pimsy is out and about uh, somewhere else, so uh, we don't have anything specifically planned. So I was like, oh, you know what, I just fancy, you know, streaming today and playing a bit more Last of Us. Plus, the fact that Pimsy's got other plans means that I can probably stream for a little bit longer than usual. Uh, I don't know how long I will go for, because 
I've been sticking to about two and a half to three hours because that feels like there are natural stopping points in those regions, but um, yeah, we'll see how far we get today. Honestly, I don't really know how much more of this there is. All right. Okay, buddy, you, you keep moving like that. I said last time I think I'm about a third of the way through, and I mean, that seems to be accurate so far. We haven't found Abby at all, uh, compared to any of the other, um, you know, scars, I guess we're calling them. But they're not really scars, they're just... And, uh, are they WLF either? It's really confusing, I don't know. Anyway, um, sorry can't hang around, I have to stream myself. If I finish before you, will try and drop by after us. Hey, no problem. Um, have you finished Battle of Bikini Bottom yet? I think you mentioned that you were getting close to the finale of it. Um, but yeah, no problem. Thanks for dropping by anyway, Ollie. Okay, journal entry. Scars, fuck this people. Stay focused on why you're here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, no, my... Th feels really bad finding a fully durable axe after you spent the resources to upgrade the one that you just picked up. And it's like, oh, hey, here's, an, here's a full one that you didn't need to do that with at all. It's like, oh, gee, thanks. Well, I guess this is the way in. Open the door, Ellie. That was very loud. Okay. Lights on. And we start scraping walls. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's done. Trying to finish Wind Waker tonight. Oh, good luck with that. Uh, it feels like you started that a while back, but I don't. I can't remember how long Wind Waker is as a game, honestly. I think How Long to Beat says it's around about 30 to 40 hours, which is supposedly the same length as The Last of Us. Uh, but I remember there being loads of different like side things to do, like finding all the different treasure charts and islands and so on. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if that's longer. But yeah, cool. Good stuff. It's been such a long game. I think you can properly like bypass everything except the main stuff. You know, you don't need to get things like the ice arrows or the fire arrows it's just that's easier to do but there are some things that are not uh skippable i think but yeah good luck with that quite looking forward to being done and starting my next nuzlocke next Ooh, you got any major plans on what type of nuzlocke you're gonna do is it gonna be something like the the randomizer where every time you go into a battle your party's randomized or is it going to be something a bit more straightforward I suppose randomizer nuzlocks are quite popular nowadays because people have done nuzlocks quite a bit. So people might feel a bit bored of doing the traditional one. But I don't know. Doppelganger. 60 brains and 60 brawn. Uh, unknown. A strange being of unknown origin, this alabaster-skinned humanoid with yellow eyes is capable of assuming the shape of anyone you need him, him or her to be. They only catch, they need to make physical contact with the person you wish them to impersonate. The resemblance is near perfect, though if you look closely, you'll see their eyes gl give a glint of yellow after the transformation. So if you ever see a friend wearing sunglasses at an inappropriate time, you'd best be on your guard. Neutral. Okay. Still no sounds? Okay, fair enough. Going to do another randomized Nuzlocke, but not the party one. I found the ROM to be quite unstable, but a Pokemon game I've never played before. Anyways, got to go. Catch you later. Bye, Ollie. Thanks for dropping by. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Okay. Yep, that's the way to go. Just waiting for some more bullshit surprise ambush after having the, the jingly cans make noise the last time we investigated an apartment that was basically abandoned. Oh, I'll take alcohol. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's the way to go. Ta -da. Right, I should have enough rags and canisters to make uh, a silencer now, right? Yeah, I do. 
four. Good. Uh, I don't need to make a Molotov. Honestly, using that Molotov on that one guy was a bit of a waste. But I was curious to see if it would make the fire spread. So, is there anything else worth getting? Yep, there's that. Alright. I'm going to assume you're locked. No. Okay. Fair enough. Rifle through the drawers. Any more drawers to rifle through? Yep. Plenty more. Nice. Okay. Huh. I don't suppose there's a way to drop down here, is there? Oh no, there is. So, where do I actually need to go? That way? That way. Okay, let's try going down to the bottom floor. See what we can find around here. Although... That's actually the way we need to go. Okay, fair enough. I want to see if there's anything on a higher level we can find. Always on the hunt for more things. Locked. No, still not locked. Interesting. I'm really expecting there to be more locked doors. There we go. That's that's what I'm expecting. Oh, hey, look at all the pigeons. I haven't really seen any other animals apart from dogs and birds, have we? Oh, no, that's not true. There was giraffes in the last game. Okay. Hoping I didn't cause too much noise. There we go. See? 30-ish pills is definitely worth getting. If anyone finds this note, my wife Paige is waiting for me back in the old conference center at Pike and Convention, right across the, from the brew pub. Brew pub. Brew pub. Please take her this medicine. She's pregnant and could die without it. I thought I could make it, but I've lost too much blood. I was sprinting through the woods, heard some whistles, and then an arrow pierced my side. I ducked into this place. Think I'm safe. Can't get any worse, right? Starting to feel cold. Stole all this medicine from the hospital. Should have grabbed some blood too. Bad joke, never mind. She'll tell you I'm always making bad jokes. If you find Paige, tell her I went peacefully. Tell her I hope they live happy lives. Tell her I love her. And tell her if it's a boy, don't name the kid after me. Go with the name we picked. Simon Vickers. Um, okay. I don't understand why the text here has the last paragraphs striked out. But then... It's only on the the bad joke bit. That's weird. A weird um, bug for them to leave in. I guess it's more of an oversight than it is a bug. Hmm. Take more alcohol. I need more rags, if anything. Is there anything else worth scavenging in here? Probably not. Aha, there we go. See, that's the thing. There should be loads of rags to get from that, but... Oh, well. Uh, okay. Otherwise, I think we are good. So, we can unlock the door. And let's see how many pills we need for a good upgrade next. So, I've got survival all the way upgraded now to endure. Uh, I don't really use smoke bombs, so there's no point making them... Although, if I make them into smoke bombs rather than stun bombs... I don't know. Can't go faster in prone movement, but I do need to do that to get better silencers. Uh, could craft more arrows. More from the same resources, maybe. And trap mines. They're okay, but I think I'll probably save up for silencers and prone movement. So I'll leave that for the time being. Alright. But it was worth looking into that higher level. So I'm glad I did that. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Just keeping an eye on OBS. It seems to be like everything seems to run fine. And then you never know when the next Windows update is just going to mess everything up for you. You know? And it's always a Windows update. It's never OBS itself because... That was one of the most common responses I saw on an online forum, the OBS project forums, when they have their help and support pages. 
it's one of the main things they say is chances are the problem is not with OBS. It's something else instead. Come on, Ellie. Squeeze. There we go. Oh. Too far away. We're being attacked. It's only a matter of time. I did get. Oh, that's that guy's hang. Okay. I saw a guy hung up. Oh dear. Whoop. Slammer. There we go. Oh, not dead. Woo. Yeah. So with a melee weapon, it takes two hits. I saw you. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. It's good if I can poke my head out. But not otherwise. Can you see me? Can you see me? I can see you now. Damn. Okay. We got a shuttle. I see. Yeah, I was pointing my gun at the guy that was hanging there, and uh, he clearly was not a person. Right. Well, let's see. I do have a lot of binding and scissors. Kind of want to carry this one for a bit, and then see if I can double back and get it later. You know? Also, yeah, I can probably go unprone now. Let's see, how are we doing? Keep... No, not yet. Okay. Taking it nice and slow. Music's still all hyped up, so clearly there's some more people around. So I can get one more enemy with my melee before I'm forced to uh, double back for the shotel. I assume it is a shotel. Really odd melee weapon for someone to have. You get axes, you get machetes, you get lots of other things, but a shotel is a really awkward one. Not a very common melee weapon, usually. It's just not that practical nowadays, I don't think. You see it a lot in, like, well, I guess fantasy or medieval style fighting, but I can't remember what the Shota was actually for. In Dark Souls, at least, you use it to try and pierce through shields, but I don't know if that was its main purpose. Like, I assume it has some sort of benefit compared to, you know, a normal sword. Because the problem with a shotel is that, obviously, with it being a curved blade, it's got a lot less reach than anything else. Compared to, like, you know, standard long swords or even a spear, chances are, if you're using a shotel, you will not get close enough. Two, three. Oh, are they on the other side of the wall? Right, okay. Can I make another canister? No. Just take it nice and easy. You gotta stay on your guard, lady. You gotta stay on your guard, lady. You're not very on your guard. I'm sorry.
I mean, she recognized the danger. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's no point having the semi-auto pistol out, considering... Ooh. That. Can I, can I grab that hammer? Two good swings of a hammer will do it. So we got one, two, three, four, maybe more. Got to try and infiltrate in here. Yeah, I'm not gonna have a chance to go back for the show till now. I don't think. Oop, hello. Oh, you didn't see the light. Can I grab you? Grab. There we go. Thank you. 